Welcome back to Power BI Helpline YouTube channel. Today in this video, you will get to know about how to show total in column chart or bar chart in Power BI. If you are visiting here first time, then please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified for all such interesting videos in Power BI. With that, let's check it out. So we have this purchase order table and date table. We also have created a total amount measure. Problem we are going to solve here is, if we create a column chart like this, and use the month name in its axis, we will able to see month-wise values, but there is no such feature to show the total column in last in column chart. To solve this problem, we will create a small table. This table will include all the month names and in last, we will add a row for total, and later we will create a separate measure which will dynamically switch the total amount according to the axis. There are many ways you can create this table, but it is better to refer the existing table rather than creating it as a hard-coded manual input. This technique will work even if you have dynamic attributes in x-axis, which are dynamically refreshing with data refresh. As you can see here in this table function, we are adding additional row for total, and we are assigning a number 13 to this so that when we will apply sort order based on month number, total will show in the last. Now connecting this newly created table's month column to month name column name of our date table. Before creating our new measure for total amount, let's use new month column from new table in x-axis, and then we will create the required measure. This new measure will be authored like this, as when selected value in x-axis is total, it will calculate total amount after ignoring filter on new month table which is filtering date table. For that we can use a function name all, inside calculate, or, we can also use remove filter function. And here we go, this particular problem has been solved, and we are now able to see total column in this column chart. Now there is still one problem left. For any incomplete year also, we would like to see all the month names in x-axis, even if there are no value. So in this case, you can assign a value zero or blank space for such month names in our new total amount measure. As said, the same approach can be used, not only to show total column, but any other custom column in column chart or bar chart of Power BI. Earlier, we also have posted a video which shows previous year and forecast in the same column chart. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to our channel, and post your questions, feedbacks, and suggestions in comment box.